Hello and welcome to Just Books. It's the only show that takes you into the world of readers, writers and the latest publishing trends. But first, a quick look at what's on our bookshelf today. Minakshi Reddy Radhavan on her zany new chiclet, You Are Here. Justice Leela Seth on some of her favourite books. And all the top book events of the week. Book launches, book happenings and book events. All the top book events of the week coming up in Book Pills. It's really, really an honor for me to be releasing a book on Krishna. Krishna, as we all know, all women especially are in love with Krishna and so am I. Janmashtami may be over, but Rani Mukherjee is still in the mood for Lord Krishna's magic, if only in book form. The book Krishna, originally written by Kajal Oja, was presented in its English translation on Monday. The book was originally written in Gujarati and was translated into English by author Bhavna Somaya. It is no ordinary coincidence that Lord Krishna was the eighth child of his parents. I am my parents' eighth child and this is my eighth book. I take this as a blessing from the deity. Director Ashutosh Gavarika, who from Lagan to Jodha Akbar has always been inspired by Krishna, was also present at the event. I have been in my own way, in a very small way, trying to explore, uh, but I'm most fascinated. Javed Akhtar also read out his poems, which trace a special relationship with Lord Krishna. In Mumbai, with Iqbal Parvez, Beverly White for NDTV. New books, solving mysteries. Some new and some old. Cracking codes and of course fighting enemies. And trust our very own Moonface and the Angry Pixie to add a bit of magic. The Faraway Tree brings you enchantments, a tree with fairy folks living on every branch. And every branch growing every kind of fruit. Enid Blyton sold more than 500 million books worldwide. And recently got the Naughty from Britain's readers. Doubted as the best loved writer for children, she beat not just Roald Dahl but also J.K. Rowling fair and square. Chaturang, a Rabindranath Tagore classic, now on the big screen. Tagore's highly acclaimed work was written in 1916 and is now being adapted into a feature film by filmmaker Suman Mukhopadhyay. I have dealt uh, in my own, you know, way of, you know, own style of cinema. I've, I've countered this novel, which is a very difficult novel in, in that way, very complex narrative structure. And in our ongoing series, What's on My Bookshelf, Justice Leela Seet and mother of Vikram Seth talks about some of her favorite books this week. Hello, and uh, I'm Leela Seth. I love reading, and my father used to say when we were small that uh, books are one's best friends, and that's really true. I'm never lonely because I always have my books around me. Uh, the first one I'm going to tell you is about is called Wild Swans by Jung Chang. It's about uh, China and uh, three tiers of life in China, of three daughters of China. The next book that I like very much in this library is the Catherine Frank's Indira, The Life of Indira Gandhi, written by Catherine Frank. It's an extremely interesting book of, about Indira Gandhi, and it's a very straightforward book, and it uh, analyzes her uh, well. It's not just 
uh, one of those books where people are just falling over her with adulation. But she's done an extremely good job. I think the other book I like very much is uh, Catherine Graham's Personal History. It's an autobiography and it's about a woman who is very well known and she's the one who uh, was responsible in a way for what you might call the change of a government in, in, uh, in America. Of course I like poetry as well but amongst the books that I like here basically um, of course I like Vikram Seth's book also which is The Suitable Boy. It's a nice fat book but um, uh, well I may be partial but uh, which I think I'm entitled as a mother but it's, it's also a very nice book to read. I like Rowington Mysteries, a fine balance as well, very much. That's a uh, fine balance by Rowington Mystery. It's also a very sensitive book. And recently I've been reading uh, Jhumpa Lahiri and her book, Unaccustomed Earth. I read the other three as well, but Unaccustomed Earth is really excellent. For recent past, I'm reading two books just now, two, three books just now. One is uh, Barack Obama's. The Audacity of Hope. It's an excellent book for everyone to read. But if you want to be a politician, I think it's an even better book to read. And the other book I'm reading just now is uh, a book called A Thousand Years of Good Prayers by someone called Yi Yu, Yuan Li. She's uh, a Chinese writer and these are short stories, but they are really excellent. And the last book which I've just started reading is called The Enduring Babu. The Memoirs of a Civil Servant by K.C. Shiva Ramakrishnan. It's just come out and uh, it's a fun book. A fun book about Babus and all their antics and activities. Well, people ask me where my books are. But my books are in every part of the house except the dining room. In nooks and corners and even behind doors. We made a shelf out behind the door so that we can put books there. So here there are some books on religion. And uh, we have Viveka Nan's books. Of course, there's my law library, which is all over the house. And there's not enough space, so it's right up to the ceiling, in fact. And uh, then <clears throat> I've got books in the drawing room, which are dealing with uh, poetry. There are a lot of Vikram books there also. There are a lot of art books also, which I have, which uh, I enjoy and which I also share with my grandchildren, because I feel I can't afford to buy it an expensive painting, but if I buy an art book, then I get all the pictures together, which is rather nice. I remember once there was a sari exhibition, and there were the most beautiful saris, and I couldn't afford to buy even one, but I bought the, the book on the sari exhibition. So I feel I have all the saris there. I find also I can't go to bed to sleep without reading at least a couple of pages. It's the best medicine uh, for sleep. First of all, I enjoy it, and secondly, it also helps to put me to sleep. So I read every night. And um, I, wherever I can squeeze time, I read. Whether it's in the car, whether it's waiting at the dentist, I just carry my book with me and read. Because I really enjoy that. And it's my best friend and passion, you know. So I just love reading.